here we go. All right, so before I get started with this video of My Little Pony Season 9, Episode 13, which is called Between Dark and Dawn, um, I want to show you this new t-shirt that I am wearing. So let me just stand up for a second. It says, um, Give me the muffin and no pony gets hurt. I had to read it myself. So yeah, give me the muffin and no pony gets hurt. And you see Derpy holding a gun. <laughs> I saw this on um, on Red Bubble, And they also got a sticker with it as well. Um, let me sit back down. I saw it on Red Bubble when I was searching uh, what t-shirt I want to get the other day. And when I saw this, I was like, yes. Yes, I want to get it so much. I want to get it so much, and and I did, and I love this top. It's the best My Little Pony top that I have gotten since becoming a My Little Pony fan. <laughs> but yeah, uh, without any further ado, cue the intro. Get this way so that we may discuss your concerns. I knew you'd come to your senses. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. 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 Oh my god. We'll be together oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Sir McBiggins meets Skelenor. She's a level 18 bone warrior in Squizzard. Skelenor? <laughs> Are you serious? Did they take a Skelenor reference from me, man? Um, 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 I need to get her hair back here. You're here together. Nothing can ever take that away from you. Phillies and Jericholes, bronies and Pegasisters of all ages, welcome. To the finale season of My Little Pony. Do you know you're all my very best friends? What's up, every pony out there in the Pony Nation? My name is Elusive Al, and welcome to my next My Little Pony Season 9 reaction video. This is My Little Pony Season 9, Episode 13, Between Dark and Dawn, like I mentioned just a little bit earlier. So, to recap what happened in the uh, last episode, and by this time still, it is still processing uh, my, um, my last uh, reaction video. It's still in dispute. It did get copyrighted, as much as this one will. Um, <laughs> if that happens, I'll try and fix it. But uh, to recap what happened in the last episode, it was titled The Last Crusade. Or so we thought. <laughs> and uh, for the first time, we get to see Scootaloo's parents. Scootaloo's parents. And... Um, they wanted to go to uh, Casa Casanova, Casa Casanova, Casablanca, Casa, whatever, whatever place it was, um, and Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle had to do everything they can to get uh, Scootaloo into Ponyville to continue their crusade and adventures. Uh, so, but nothing was working until at the end, Rainbow Dal Ra da Dallas. I nearly called, I, I nearly called it Dallas. <laughs> Rainbow Dallas, Rainbow Dallas Page. <laughs> it's the Rainbow Cutter. <laughs> uh, for all 
all you wrestling fans out there, you'll you'll know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Rainbow Dash um, was like, "What? You can't do that!" After everything they've done since um, season five, I believe, uh, you're just gonna let them go. Yeah, it's it's only been like what four four or five years. Since uh, they got their cutie mark and all, um, I think it was four years actually since they first got it. But yeah, since then, no. I was like, no, they have to keep going. They have to keep going. And turns out she's staying. So yay! But um, with all that uh, recap that happened in the last episode, let's watch episode. 12 13 sorry <laughs> episode 13 from dusk till dawn so let's watch the episode in three two one let go oh sweet apple acres let's go it the main six Turtle come from? Mr. Tortoise Nab said he was hungry. But he promised me he would well, like take a few small bites. I don't think that thing knows what small is. Spiky Wiki. Spiky Wiki. <laughs> you can see. Applejack you can see the ship cannon slowly and slowly turning. Ooh, look at the camera panning then. I like that. Here we go. The old pony crusading missions. Mr. Twitchnap, oh, here we go. Only asking nicely once. Let my friends go. Why? Oh, no. And now a simple teleportation spell should pause. Interloper. Oh, they're doing something! Again! They're doing something again! Since the premiere! Can I say as well, the, t the tortoise thing that showed, um, as well, where they were battling, it kind of looked like that um, island... Um, you, you know from the film Moana, before that, uh, when you go into the cinemas to watch it, I've, I've been to see Moana as well, uh, there is, there's always a short Disney film, isn't there? And it reminds me of that island, um, from, um, I forgot what short it was as well, um, but yeah, it reminds me of that island. Reminds me of that island, so yeah. But anyways, uh, just wanted to go into detail about that part. Let's zoom into watching the rest of this video. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, goodness, sister, that was fun. No need to thank us. To be honest, we've recently realized we like being part of the action experiencing life instead of just dreaming about it and making a difference outside the throne room <laughs> yeah what the frig have you been since 12 episodes 12 episodes 12 episodes later for oh, sure you en you enjoyed your your retirement not Faithful and strong, sharing kindness is an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. Oh, 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 o
Oh God. Oh, new bridge. Very nice. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> One hope. Uh, I can't read this thing. How am I supposed to lead a Philly guide, Tyke, if the map makes us more lost? Did some police say lost? Oh. Not for lost. <laughs> Is this is this gonna be like two Wonder Womans in like this one episode? Miss Cheerily ordered cupcakes for school today, and I forgot to make the order. Oh no! <laughs> Not the mm. students going hungry. Not on our watch. Let us bake, sister. <gasps> it's like seeing it's Wonder Woman and bringing. Catwoman coexisting together. Not that we don't appreciate their help, but suddenly Celestia and Luna seem to think we can't do anything on our own. How are we supposed to learn to be rulers of Equestria with them fixing every teensy problem for us? Maybe the princesses changed their minds. Maybe they don't think we're up to the responsibility of protecting Equestria after all. Or maybe this week's just a one-time thing. It'll never happen again. <laughs> Strategy meeting. Think again. What's the danger this time? A rampaging beast? Evil spell? Friendship problem? We're ready to do whatever we can. <laughs> Look at them too. So <laughs> They're so eager. Just, you've been helping us an awful lot, and we know you have way more important rulery things to do. So we spend more than enough <laughs> time in the throne room. Real life is happening out here. Wait. That's how did? How? Hang on. 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 How did they? How did? How did they come to realize now that they thought, "Let's go out. Let's go out there and solve mysteries and solve dangers and solve everything that's happening in Equestria." You've could have done that. You could have done that way earlier. Like, what about what about the time when Sombra? was taking over the Crystal Empire and I'm not talking about the season 9 I'm talking about the season uh was it season 2 I think season 2 season 2 opening uh what about the time where uh, T-Rex although you could have done something about T-Rex as well even though your powers was taken away and Twilight had to do everything uh props to Twilight um and um what about the time where um where starlight was um was taken over uh was taken like well yeah was taken uh cutie marks um away from other ponies in that town forgot what forgot what it was but yeah and also one more thing um oh i had it in the top of my head as well it was um oh what was it chrysalis chrysalis in the royal wedding the royal wedding between uh cadence and shining shining armor why and, and i know i know celestia was uh brutally hurt as well by chrysalis where was luna where where was luna where was luna since then, I don't know. I don't know. You can you can disagree with me in the comments if you want to, but I I see it differently. They they, they could they, they could have done it a lot earlier than what we expected. They could have done it earlier. Anyways, that's my little rant done. Let's resume with the video. Three, two, one. Let's go. Princesses? Not exactly. Battling the Everfree Forest alongside Star Swirl made us realize what we've missed out on. So instead of spending the day rolling and the night patrolling dreams, we wanted a chance to do the things you do. Save the day. Adventure with friends. Shampoo anteaters. I'm pretty sure Fluttershy is the only pony that does that. Well, there are way more fun things to do than follow us around. You should make a list of all the stuff you never tried but always wanted to. There's a lot of little things out there to do. <laughs> what 
an intriguing idea. Only, it's much harder to justify a vacation from the castle when it's not an emergency we're responding to. Don't worry. We'll cover your pal's duties. It'll be a good chance for us to practice for when you retire. Well, if you're sure you don't mind the extra effort. Shh! Thank you, Twilight! What a relief to know the royal swanifying ceremony is in good hooves. <laughs> what now? <laughs> the the, the royal swatter. I can't wait to start planning our time off. A chance to do whatever we want. And you know what that means. Can I just say, uh, the maturity level between the two now is like when they were as kids. So I think they're going back into like their childhood at, at, at this point in time. <laughs> They're experiencing that moment as again as little fillies. I doubt that's my assumption for this. Three, two, one, let's go. Well, it's just that I I spend each night in every pony's intense dreams, so I could use some real world downtime. Uh, I understand. But for me, every day is real world. Meetings and decrees and meetings about decrees and decrees about the meetings. What brave excitement! The what, the, the what, the, the uh, what, the what, the I'm what? I'm not sure how we can both be happy. Unless we take turns doing what we like. Sister oh. And I have the perfect accessories for us to wear. What right here? What? Oh, God. What are they going to wear? Oh, oh my. Crazies. Dear Lord. <laughs> Just like regular pony tourists. I knew you'd love it. I have a few things for us too. I want to see them try it on. I want to see them fully try it on. Bug spray, ice boots, bug sanitizer, and travel snacks. Troll last year confirmed. You have to add water. What do you think? It's perfect, sister. And here are instructions of how to prepare for the royal swanifying. Look at the hair! Down, I'm sure we can handle it. Have fun. One more thing. Yeah, they're we definitely going back into when they were fillies. While we're gone. <gasps> we have put a small part of our power in this amulet. You can activate it with your magic at any time. Preferably dawn and dusk. Ooh, that's not a terrifying hint, hint, hint. possibility or anything. We won't let you down, princesses. So both of them have stored their power in a small amulet. Please tell me that scroll says what the royal swanifying is? Apparently it's a celebration of all the swans in the royal lake. We round them up, parade them through the streets, and the finish with the party in the castle. <gasps> One question. Why? It doesn't matter. This is our chance to show Celestia and Luna we'll do whatever the job requires. If they can take care of all this themselves, then I know we can. Together. Um, oh, Johnny Good. You are definitely not reading the scroll I am. <laughs> Remember, sister, from now on we are regular carefree ponies. Look at them swooning! Behind, and we're not even going to fly! Um, you were saying? How new and different. It's oh, Celestia. Just like Pinkie Pie said, there's a lot of little things you oh, can do song. in this world. There's a lot of little things you gotta try. Just a pack of punchy plunges, other ponies I'll take. Got a princess pony past this way by. <laughs> no ponies. Background ponies in the back. Oh. Better. No pony is truer than the one you are. No pony. Oh, look at these postcards. Oh. You can saunter on a sojourn hid behind castle walls. You can't throw a throne down on the beach. <laughs> so we're gonna be a Sunday to a little. And this bond is gonna be a peach. No pony knows you like your older sister. No pony is a 
what are they in the um, last pe like last oh, what's the place of last Pegasus? Then again, you are wearing like princesses. Bats, we are here that. to. Oh. oh my God! It's you. In for their Fancy pants. What can we help y'all with? I say, how irregular. Well then, we offer our assistance as heads of the Royal Swanifying Committee. What a relief! Thank you, but we have it all covered. Really? Well, good luck with that. If we ask for help, it's just like admitting we're not as good at the job as Luna and Celestia are. Besides, how hard can throwing a swan party be? Yeah. Um, you're about to experience that first hoof. Can I keep reading? Celestia, since we're both a little tired, maybe the first thing we do shouldn't be too wild. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh, no. So I cannot bear. <laughs> From one meme to one extreme meme. <laughs> oh, the bean charts on this is going to be off it. Off the charts. <laughs> but never. <laughs> Go back. Um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if there is a mugshot of that on a mug of Luna's face on a zip line, I need that mug. <laughs> I need that mug pronto. Let 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 me let uh actually let me know um if if ever there is going to be a picture of that in a mug. Send it to me, please. <laughs> Send it to me. <laughs> All right. <sighs> that was great. Resuming the video. Three, two, one. Let's go. Glad you enjoyed yourself. But now we're going to do something I've always wanted to do, but never could because of my night shift. Is it another zip line? No. No. It's the post office. It is indeed. What? I'm <laughs> probably saying like, oh crap, the princesses. <laughs> One stamp, please. <laughs> okay. Wait for it. <laughs> stamp if you were just going to give this to me. Yes, but I didn't give it to you. A mail pony took it from me, served to find who it was meant for, and gave it to you. It's about the process.
Luna, I love you. But even the simplest things that you try to do are... I'm just going to move on. Three, two, one. Let's resume. Did you know that no pony has ever explored the bottom of these caverns? I wonder why. Oh. I've always wanted to try this. Isn't this wonderful, sister? Oh. There's a lot of little things you what? gotta do in this world. What? What? I'll I'll explain I'll explain more later. Tip, it's typical them two, isn't it? Typical sisters. It has come to our attention that you don't intend to One has her own rules and then the other one wants to There's do no her own, but it's you. just one sister don't to tell another. Me. Tell him. And you must do something about the garbage piling up outside. The street sweepers are on strike, and the royal carpenters can't do their jobs. Did you even know there were Royal Street Carpenters? Oh dear. I do hope those aren't the final decorations for the gala. Oh, rude. Thank you for your constructive criticism. Oh, she just so. called Fancy Punks rude. Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself on your super relaxing picnic, sister. I would be if you hadn't made us hike through a million prickle bushes. <laughs> ah! They hurt less than that horrible howling you dragged us to. That was pointing at you, and it's an opera. And you made us leave. <laughs> I'm with you, your sister. I'm God with you. Don't oh, just face it, Luna. You are never happy because you don't want me to be happy. I always have to do things your way. I bet you wish I'd never come back so you could still rule day and night. I like that kind of pressure, being responsible for every little thing in Equestria and you. What I like is a sister I can depend on. You mean boss around? Calm down, Luna. I cannot take this episode more seriously. They are releasing their dark auras around them. Oh my god. From... Oh my god, it just turned... One sister into another, and now this outburst is occurring into their evil selves. Oh my god. This episode is... Oh, it, it goes from happiness into this moment on where it's, it's a typical friendship problem, but this one might be out of control like the most hectic friendship problem we've ever had this is probably this is probably the most friend, most hectic friendship problem that we've we've had on the show probably <sighs> damn i got i'm i'm feeling i'm feeling i'm feeling sorry for i'm feeling sorry for luna that I am because sure um they had they had moments uh where they argue like the cake uh, in the um in the one hundredth episode of by little Pody four years ago um between cranky doodle and uh matilda um and uh see if I can remember another one. Uh, th there's some, there's some others, but um, but yeah, this is the most hectic sister problem that they've had.
let's resume with the video and hints of Nightmare Moon and Daybreaker returning. <sighs> let's see if it happens. Three, two, one. I'm afraid to press play, but let's do it. Play! No! And don't you dare use your Canterlot voice on me! I think this adventure would be better if I did it by myself! Fine! I just remembered something I forgot I always wanted to do. Be alone! Guess we have the same thing on both of our lists then. Oh. <laughs> so we're just going to have to do a sequence. Um, sorry for the bad news, but the courtyard is full of swans waiting to get in. Look at them swans! Celestia would have ruled kingdom and get all this done by themselves every year. <laughs> oh, how droll. Uh, what's the funny part exactly? The princesses never do all the ceremony planning by themselves. They don't? I, I got a feeling they don't, no. That's what the gala planning committees are for. No pony could handle all this. Oh, those sequins? Still rude. <laughs> hey, we're, going we're going to delegate! Book. Uh, I was gonna say a bugbear. <laughs> Did you say bugbear? <laughs> Things are so much more relaxing without my bossy sister. Slender man, slender man, watch out for him. <laughs> or oh, random chicken. Really? Oh, I thought climbing mount for the main jar was on. Could you could you imagine what she would see in a uh, school? As well. <laughs> imagine, imagine if Skulu tried to like scare Celestia and say, "Um, Celestia," and uh, Celestia turns over and goes, "Oh, chicken!" <laughs> now that that would be a good first indication of uh, her being scared of chickens. Let's resume. Three, two, one. Let's go. My list. I'm not copying you. I just wanted to watch the sunrise. Uh, I'm uh, here for the moonset. So, uh, how did the rest of your day go? Oh, amazing! Yeah, uh, fan fantastic, best ever, really. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm. You, you can walk with me, you know, if, if you want. I mean, oh, well, <laughs> since we're going the same way. <laughs> This is so beautiful. It must be amazing in the sunlight. The night's pretty special too. Uh... Lucky star! You taught me to look for those when I was a filly. <laughs> Hope I wasn't too bossy doing it. You know, being with your sister all the time is hard, but being without her, it's even harder. I do know. No kidding. 
And I wouldn't trade you for any of the adventures on my list. Oh, they line they kinda of look half flow. Not even your zip line? Not even my zip line. Screw the zip line! I'm sorry, I said those things before. Sometimes it's just tough being the little sister. It's not always easy being the big sister either. I'm sorry too. The sun and the moon together? At the same time? I've seen that. Now where have I seen that before? What the heck? <laughs> it's a... What? You think maybe Twilight's having trouble with the amulet? We should probably go help her. Okay, okay. Oh my so, so god! And no more than one half turn. Does anybody have some tape? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's may I present to you my favourite episode, probably of all time. Actually, no, not of all time. I really, really enjoyed the 100th episode. This is probably... Let's see. This is probably my... Top 5 or top 10 favourite episodes of My Little Pony Generation 4 episodes. But but seeing as but seeing as I called that, I couldn't really call all the other episodes really. I don't really have like a top five or a top ten. But I'll put this like a top five favorite episode. Top five. This episode was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> And you're probably, I mean, you're probably going to be listening to this, hear me say it and say like, what? Like, what are you talking, like, what are you talking about? This was uh, a, like, a general, like, friendship problem episode featuring two sisters, like, having, like, friendship problems again. Yes, they are having a friendship problem again, but this is the first episode together this is the first episode of Celestia and Luna together in this episode. And this episode of them two absolutely delivered it for me. Absolutely. I love the chemistry between the two the two actors. These these two voice actors who voice Celestia and Luna. Let me check on who voices them for a minute, because I got a hazy memory. Tab Tabitha did the younger Luna. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know who voices Luna. Probably, probably Tabitha again. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, these two have great chemistry. Great chemistry with uh, each other's characters. Um, since, um, I was going to say since the, uh, the, the 100th episode of, um, of My Little Pony, <laughs> with all, with all the constant arguments, but then result, resolving the situation, bracing hoofs with each other, and this episode with them two explains more further into their relationship. I loved this episode. Loved this episode. The memes is going to be off the charts with this one. Um, I can see like shirts being made as well, especially from Luna. With that uh, shot from her in the zip line, or in a cup. By the way, once again, if there is a cup shot of uh, Luna's face on a zip line, let me know. Please let me know. <laughs> let me know if there is 
a mug cup of Princess Luna's face on a zip line, and I'll gladly pay it. Gladly get it with with every penny that I can to get that sh I nearly said shirt. I might get a shirt of that one, I'm not sure. But shirt, but especially a mug. I want a mug of that. God, I, I loved, I loved this episode so, so much. I loved this episode. <sighs> but yes, as for season nine, favorite episode, favorite episode of season nine, thus far. That, and you gotta say the pr pr premiere episodes of um, of uh, season nine was good. It was good, um, but this one, this episode, yeah, it's um, exceeded, exceeded higher, exceeded higher with with these two. But yeah, that was my reaction for season nine, episode thirteen, which is titled "Between Dark and Dawn." I love this episode so much. If you have enjoyed my reaction to this episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 9 Episode 13, then make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you are new to my channel and want to check out more of my My Little Pony videos and fan animations, I might be doing some fan animations today as well, so be sure to look out for that. Or by the time this recording comes out, I'll have the the, um, the fan animations first, and then uh, this episode will come out like a few days afterwards. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry about that. And that was my dad. <laughs> um, but uh, if, if you are new to my channel and want to check out more of my videos, then hit the subscribe button, then turn on the notification bell for more update and content for when I upload my next video. I have a Twitter page, it is at elusabout 21 I will leave that down below in the description as well. I've been a little busy on there as well, actually. And um, leave your thoughts, comments, and was this your favourite episode of My Little Pony Season 9? Or probably your favourite episode of all time in Generation 4 of My Little Pony. To, to me, it's like top top 5, top 10 with the, with this episode. But saying that, I haven't made like episodes like top 5 and top 10. I'll, 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 I'll have to make that um, when Season 9 is all over. I'll just like look back on every title episode... Between season one and season nine, and um, I'll go through them, and uh, yeah. But um, leave your thoughts and comments. And with all that being said, I will see you, every pony, in the next video. Goodbye. Two sisters, Celestia and Luna. You killed me in this episode. You killed me. <laughs>